Hi, it's Kanisha again from English Math and More, and today we're focusing on the math part of that. We are going to figure out how to find a percent given whole numbers only. Okay, how to find the percent of something when given only whole numbers. Let's go to board. Step one is to figure out what the total is. Two, figure out what portion of the total you need to work with. Okay, this is important. Three, you are going to divide the portion by the total. It seems counterintuitive because usually we divide larger numbers by smaller numbers. But if we understand the nature of percents, and we'll talk about that in another video, we understand that we are um, trying to uh, spread this whole number out across um, smaller pieces. Okay, all right, so three, For example, so at a conference, there are 75 attendees. Of the 75, 17 are vegan, 28 are vegetarian, and 30 are pescatarian. What percent are, let's go with pescatarian for no reason other than that I like the word pescatarian. I like saying it. Pescatarian, pescatarian. I'm supposed to use a question mark instead of period. All right. So using these steps, we are going to find out what percent are pescatarian. Okay, so we've determined our total. There are 75 attendees. So 75 is our total, sorry, all right. Determine what the relevant portion is. So we're being asked point blank, what percent, there we go with the glare, what percent are pescatarian, okay? And we know that 30, it's written right here, can't miss it, don't have to compute anything, 30 are pescatarian. Okay, so we divide the portion by the total. So let's flip this a bit. So we're going to make a fraction. It always helps to make a fraction. And it also helps to remember that fractions are division problems too. See? And for those of you who have trouble um, with division problems, remember you divide the top by the bottom, okay? And the by goes on the outside, all right? Top by the bottom. The by goes on the outside. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, not that kind of by, but you know what I mean. I couldn't help it. Okay, so we have 30 divided by 75. And of course, we can't squeeze 75 into 30. So we're gonna add a decimal after 30 and then add a decimal up top on our bracket directly above. And we're gonna add a zero after 30, okay? So we can't divide 30 by 75, but we can divide 300 by 75. And how many times does 75 go into 300? Let's see. Hmm. 75 plus 75 is 150. That's two. 150 plus 150 is 300. Mm hmm So that's four times. Yes. 75 goes into there four times. And if you are not able to count that way in your mind, simply use a margin and start multiplying. So start with small numbers. 
if you are uncomfortable? Well, you know 75 times 1 is 75. 70 times, I'm sorry, 75 times 2, what is that? Hmm. We figure out that that is 150. So that's lower than 300. You can keep going until you find the number you need. 75 times 3, hmm, what is that? 3 times 5 is 15, 1, 225, hmm, 225 is close to 300, but we're not there yet, okay? Let's see, we need more space. Let's go up top. Going up beyond uh, 75 times, we did three, okay, 75 times four. Four times five is 20. Put down our zero, carry the two. Four times seven is 28 plus two. That gives us 30. And would you look at that? We have 300. I was right, I know what I was talking about. So this will work. 75 goes into 300 four times. Multiply four by 75. You subtract, you get nothing left, all right? And so you have this point four here. You may add it a zero if you want, but you don't have to because a four in the tenths place automatically makes this 40%, whether or not there's zero, okay? This is still 40%. 40%, if you add the zero, <laughs> it'll still be 40%, all right? And a note about something else, and I'll get into this when we get into, um, or if I post a video about dividing decimals, or dividing with decimals, or dividing into, into sorry, decimals. If you have to add a decimal and you're dividing, you cannot place this number here all willy-nilly. You cannot put it anywhere. Whatever the last digit is that you use to divide into, that's where you have to place this number. Had I been able to divide 75 into 30, I'd place my number here. If I were able to divide 75 into 3, I'd place my number above the 3. But that's not the case, right? I had to add a 0, and so I was able to divide 75 into 300. This is the last digit, so I have to place my 4 above here. And it's imperative that you do this to make sure you get the right answer, okay? All right, and that takes care of that. That is how you find a percentage when given only whole numbers. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. That's it for now. Kanisha from English Math and More. Bye.